Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. A security guard was shot and injured outside the Sajikor Bank in Fairfield, Montego Bay by three armed robbers shortly before midday on Monday. The robbers reportedly made off with a bag containing an unspecified amount of cash. A Clarendon teacher was among four people killed in motor vehicle crashes yesterday. Anika Smith, who taught at the Garvey Mosea High School, died after the bus in which she was traveling crashed in a ditch in Swansea, Clarendon. Stores and streets across Jamaica's main towns are flooded with consumers doing last-minute shopping ahead of Christmas. Some stores have had to implement crowd control measures to regulate customer flow. The Energy Minister Philip Powell has announced that Alpart Alumina Plant in St. Elizabeth is to reopen by December 1, 2016. The plant, which is operated by the Russian company UC Russell, has been closed for the past five years. In sports, newly appointed one-day international captain Jason Holder says the West Indies need to build a momentum going into the ICC Cricket World Cup next year. The Barbadian, who on Saturday replaced Dwayne Bravo as captain, would like the momentum to begin in the upcoming ODI series against host South Africa. In your weather forecast, Tuesday will be mainly sunny and windy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.